2025 Kawasaki Ninja 1100SX SE Review The perfect blend of power and comfort Kawasaki's Ninja 1000SX has long been a favorite among sports tour enthusiasts, celebrated for its speed, composure, comfort, refinement, and exceptional value since its debut as a reimagined Z1000 in 2011. For 2025, this iconic mile eater evolves into the Ninja 1100SX, boasting a larger engine capacity and introducing a higher spec SE model, along with a handful of thoughtful updates. Despite the bump in capacity, the Ninja 1100SX SE feels strikingly similar to the outgoing 1000SX, and that's a good thing. Its inline four engine remains urgent, torquey, and thrilling delivering performance that's perfectly suited to the road. While the slight drop in peak power is hardly noticeable unless you're on a track, the added mid-range grunt is a welcome bonus for everyday riding. The bike's power delivery is more than enough for any situation, though low-speed handling can still feel a bit choppy. Thankfully, the updated quickshifter settings smooth things out during slower rides. As ever, the Ninja 1100SX excels in handling, offering sublime comfort and wind protection far superior to bulkier touring options. The SE model adds an extra layer of sophistication with Brembo brakes and an Olean's rear shock, though their real-world performance gains are subtle. That said, the Olean's unit enhances plushness and control, particularly for sporty riders. However, Kawasaki missed an opportunity to include electronic suspension like that on the Versys 1100, which would have added greater versatility for varied touring scenarios. Chassis-wise, the Ninja 1100SX SE retains the same foundation as the 1000SX, so the standard model delivers a familiar ride. The SE's Brembo calipers and Olean shock offer incremental improvements, with the suspension upgrade enhancing ride quality, grip, and adjustability. Through corners, the bike feels effortlessly composed, and the braking performance, aided by a larger 10mm rear disc, is reliable, though not dramatically different in feel. For spirited riders, the SE's upgrades are undeniably beneficial. However, for those who tackle everything from highways and twisty backroads to wet conditions, two-up journeys, and luggage-laden adventures, the added flexibility of electronic suspension would have been a game-changer. As it stands, the Ninja 1100SX SE remains a masterclass in sports touring with just a few missed opportunities for perfection. The Kawasaki Ninja 1100SX rolls on OE spec Bridgestone S23 tires, which perform significantly better in warm weather than in the cold. For enhanced grip, ride quality, and confidence, upgrading to premium sports or sports touring tires is a worthwhile investment. Much like the 2025 Versys 1100, the Ninja's inline four-cylinder engine has been reworked to meet 5 Euro-plus emission standards while enhancing real-world performance. Displacement increases from 1,043 cubic centimeters to 1,099 cubic centimeters, courtesy of a longer 3 mm stroke. Additional tweaks include milder cam profiles, reshaped intake ports, and a heavier flywheel for improved low-end power and smoothness. Although these changes result in slightly reduced top-end power, from 140 brake horsepower at 10.000 RPM to 134 brake horsepower at 9.000 RPM and lower rev limits, Kawasaki promises more punch at lower revs, along with an extra 1 LBFD of torque. In practice, you need to compare the new 1100 against the outgoing 1000 to notice any significant difference across the rev range. The Ninja hasn't lost its signature power, flexibility, or drama. The low-speed engine braking and throttle response remain a bit abrupt. Fifth and sixth gear ratios have been lengthened to lower engine revs during cruising, making for a more relaxed ride. Kawasaki claims an impressive 50 miles per gallon, translating to a potential range of 209 miles from the 19-liter tank, which remains unchanged. By comparison, Cars tests found the previous generation 1000SX averaged 47 miles per gallon. While we had limited time on motorways, the updated motor feels smoother, and the carried over non radar cruise control continues to work seamlessly. The up slash down quickshifter has been refined to function at just 1500 RPM, 1000 RPM lower than before. 
offering smoother operation at lower speeds. To further reduce vibrations for both rider and pillion, Kawasaki has added heavier handlebar ends, rubber dampers in the heel plates, and lead weights in the footrests. The Ninja 1100SX isn't just about performance, it's also built to last. Straight out of the box, it boasts impressive build quality, and its track record for durability is well documented. Cars' owner reviews of the previous 1000SX highlight exceptional reliability and top-notch dealer support, ensuring peace of mind for years of riding. The Kawasaki Ninja 1100SX is available in base spec, 12,249 pounds, or this all-singing SE trim, 13,999 pounds, and it is just one traditional sports touring rival, Suzuki's GSX S1000 GT. It costs 12,899 pounds or 13,999 pounds for the pannier equipped GT Plus model, but in tests we found it slightly less refined. You could also consider the sporty, but more touring focused BMW R1250RS, which starts at 13,140 pounds and 15,340 pounds for the higher spec SE model. The uber popular 11,116 pound Yamaha Tracer 9. 13,216-pound Tracer 9 GT and Cars Award-winning, fully loaded 15,016-pound Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus is the modern-day take on the sports tour, but its tall-rounder design makes it more of a competitor to Kawasaki's own Versus 1100. Kawasaki's radiology app that links to the color TFT dash via Bluetooth is now voice-activated, and there's a new USB-C charging port tacked, literally, onto the left bar. As before, the SX is well-equipped with lean-sensitive ABS and traction control, riding modes, an up-slash-down quickshifter, and cruise control. It still has a four-position mechanically adjustable screen that slips through the air quieter than any tall rounder or adventure bike. The standard SX comes in black and the SE in black or green. The Kawasaki also sits on OE-spec Bridgestone S23 tires that work far better in warm conditions than cold. Grip, ride quality, and confidence will all be improved by fitting replacement sports or sports touring rubber. A staple of many of Kawasaki's other models, the SX is now available as a higher spec SE variant. It costs 1,750 pounds, and for that you get an Olean's S46 shock adjustable for preload, via an adjuster knob, and rebound damping. It's also fitted with four-piston radial Brembo M4.32 calipers, braided steel lines, and a Brembo master cylinder that hooks up with the existing cornering ABS system. You also get three-stage heated grips that are some of the hottest in the business. The new designer chassis components give the SX a more luxurious feel, on top of what is a beautifully built machine with a deep paint finish. Both the standard and SE models will be available in base trim and three up-spec options. The performance option comes with a tank pad, single seat cover, Acropovic exhaust can, frame protectors, scratch-proof dash film, and tinted screen. The Tourer has a pair of 28-liter panniers with inner bags, tank pad, bigger screen, a 12V power socket, and phone mount kit. The performance Tourer is a smorgasbord of both. The 2025 Kawasaki Ninja 1100 SXSE delivers a refined balance of power, agility, and comfort making it a standout in the sports touring segment. Its reworked 1,099 cubic centimeters inline four engine provides a smoother, torquier ride with enhanced low end grunt, ideal for real world conditions. While peak power drops slightly to 134 brake horsepower at 9,000 RPM, the updated mid-range ensures effortless acceleration. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.